Okay, Etan, welcome to your video tutorial today on polygons. Um, today we're going to have a look at what a polygon is and what we are, how we are going to use this information in order to solve geometrical problems. Okay, a uh, polygon is a shape with straight sides. Uh, this here, rectangle, it's a polygon. Okay, it has four sides. We also know that that means another name for it is a quadrilateral. Okay, uh, this here is a polygon. We know another name for it is a triangle, okay. We know the interior sum of that is 180. We know the interior sum of angles of that is 360. What happens if I draw this shape? What the hell is that? It is a shape with straight edges and straight sides. It's not a quadrilateral, it's not a triangle. It's another type of polygon and we call it an irregular one, okay. And how we work out the size of the angles in there is using this rule. 180 times n is the number of sides minus 2. 180 times whatever the amount of sides it is minus 2. I times that by 180 and I find the answer. Okay, let's have a look at this one here. Find the value of the pro numeral. So I need to find x. Well, first thing I do, step 1, how many sides does it have? It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. Okay, so it has 6 sides. I can just get off those. I was just using those to count. Okay, so it has 6 sides. Okay, so my formula, S equals 180 times, now it was the number of sides minus 2. So 180 times number of sides, 6 minus 2 is 4. 180 times 4 is 720. Okay, that means that this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this all have to equal 720. Okay, so you can do this a number of ways. I'm going to again solve it algebraically. You don't have to do it this way. You can just go 720 minus 90 minus 130 minus 140 minus 150 minus 100, but I'm going to go x plus 140 plus 130, plus 90, plus 150, plus 100, equals 720. Okay, if I add that 140, 130, 90, 150, 100, do, 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 610. If I add them all up, I get 610. X plus 610 equals 720. So X is going to equal 7, 720 minus 610. X is going to equal 110 degrees. Okay, so x here for this example is 110. First thing you need to do, work out what, what the angles it, it should all add up to. Second thing you need to do is minus that from the information that you know. Okay, you could also be asked a question like this. This one here is a polygon, okay, but it's also actually a pentagon. And these things here tell me that every side is equal in this shape. If every side is equal, it means all the angles are equal as well. So let's first work out what they should equal all together. So S equals 180 times number of sides minus 2. So S is going to equal 180. How many sides is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. 180 times 3 is 540 degrees. So altogether they should equal 540. And I know they're all equal because all the sides are equal. So x is going to be equal to 540 divided by, there's five sides, so divided by five. There's five angles in there as well. So if I divide that by five, I get 108 degrees. Okay. Now, how do I find out y? Well, x here is 108. Oh, sorry, they wrote 180. x here is 108 degrees. X and Y are sitting on a straight line, so Y is going to be 180 degrees for that straight line, minus what's on one side, 108, which is going to give me 72 degrees. Okay, so that again. Use the formula, work out the side length, work out the number of sides, substitute it in, work out how they much they equal all together, use that information, to find out the value of the pronumeral. And that's it guys, that's working with polygons.